नाम डॉक्टर जयपाल छाबड़िया है मैं मेंबर हूँ नेशनल कमीशन फॉर मिनार्टीज का आज ये मिनार्टी जो न्यूज चैनल के हवाले से मैं बताना चाहता हूँ कि कश्मीर का जो सालिडर्टी डे है पांच फरवरी को इसको पूरी दुनिया में सेलिब्रेट करते हैं और हम पाकिस्तान में भी सेलिब्रेट करते हैं और इसमें जो नॉन मुस्लिम यहाँ रहते हैं वो भी भरपूर इसमें हिस्सा लेते हैं तो हम इसमें मुतालबा करते हैं कि कश्मीरियों को अपने तमाम हुकूक दिए जाएं यूनाइटेड नेशन के जो रेजोल्यूशन है उस पर अमल होना चाहिए और वहां न कर्फ्यू लगना चाहिए न कहीं शहीद होना चाहिए क्योंकि हम ये चाहते हैं कि इस इलाके में अमन हो तमाम शहरियों को अमन हो तमाम शहरियों को हुकूक हो तो हम हिन्दुस्तान की हकूमत से मुतालबा करते हैं यूनाइटेड नेशन से मुतालबा करते हैं कि इस मसले को हल करवाए और जो 370 का कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इंडिया में आर्टिकल था जिसको खत्म करके मोदी गवर्नमेंट ने उसको जो को मिनार्टी में तब्दील कर रहे हैं कश्मीरियों को ये बहुत गलत बात है ये नहीं होना चाहिए और हमने तो इतना भी मुतालबा करते हैं मैं मुतालबा करता हूं कि हिंदू को कश्मीर कमेटी का चेयरमैन बनाए क्योंकि ये आम कहावत है कि लोहे को लोहा काटता है और कायदे जम मोहम्मद अली जिना ने भी फर्स्ट टाइम कश्मीर कमेटी का चेयरमैन हिंदू को बनाया था जो जोगेंद्र नाथ मंडल था तो आज भी अगर हम बनाएंगे हम इस मसले को हल कर सकते हैं क्योंकि कश्मीर का मसला हल को हल करना बहुत जरूरी है इसका साउथ एशिया में अमन कायम हो सकता है क्योंकि इसकी वजह से जो भाईचारे में रुकावटें हिंदू मुसलमानों में नफरत बढ़ रही है इसको एक दिन खत्म होना चाहिए तो हम इसकी भरपूर हिमायत करते हैं और यूनाइटेड नेशन से भी मुतालबा करते हैं यूरोपियन यूनियन से मुतालबा करते हैं और मोदी गवर्नमेंट से भी मुतालबा करते हैं कि आए एक टेबल पे बैठे और इस मसले को हम मिलकर हल करें थैंक यू सो वी वॉन्ट गुड नेबरली रिलेशन विद इंडिया वी वॉन्ट पीस विथ इंडिया वी वॉन्ट फ्रेंडशिप विथ इंडिया बट दैट पीस एंड फ्रेंडशिप मस्ट बी पीस ऑफ ऑनर इट मस्ट बी पीस ऑफ अ सेल्फ रिस्पेक्टिंग सॉफ एंड स्टेट इंडिया मस्ट एक्सेप्ट दैट इंडिया मस्ट नो that peace can only be established on the basis of self respect and honor on the basis of a whole of our own commitments on the basis of our own pledges on the basis of our own promises to the people of pakistan to the people of india to the world at large and above all to the people of jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir is not an integral part of india it has never been an integral part of india Jammu and Kashmir is a disputed territory between India and Pakistan. It is more a part of Pakistan than it can ever be with India, with all her eloquence and with all her extravagance with words. The people of Jammu and Kashmir, sir, are part of people of Pakistan, in blood, in flesh, in life, kith and kin of ours, in culture, in geography. in history in every way and in every form irrespective of our size of our resources we shall fight to the end but we shall fight in self defense we shall fight for honor we are not aggressors we are victims of aggression it was the duty of the security council to pronounce on who is the aggressor and who is the aggressed it was pakistan that was the victim of aggression and i am not referring here to some of the remarks made by countries which have no right to be here they are not even countries but i am referring to the great powers i am referring to all peace loving countries i am referring to those those who believe in the in, in the cause of justice in the cause of righteousness in the cause of honor after all history is not in vain wars have been fought in the past people have upheld great causes we believe more than ever before that justice is bound to prevail that the people of jammu and kashmir 5 million people sir must have a right to decide their own future why should they be made an exception the whole phenomenon of self determination stretching from asia and africa should apply to the whole world except to the people of jammu and kashmir are there some outcasts of an indian society are there some untouchable pariahs that they should not be given the right of self determination that they should not be allowed to have a right to their own future the great country of france they have permitted the algerians to have the right of self determination it is a wilsonian concept the right of self determination the soviet union believes in the right of self determination of all peoples the whole world believes in the right of self determination and must it be denied 
to the people of Jammu and Kashmir merely because power must prevail over principle, power shall never prevail over principle. Finally and ultimately, principle must prevail over power. This is a Christian concept, it is an Islamic concept, it is a civilized concept. And those nations who do not believe in such concept, they must face the ultimate concept. Secretary of State of the United States of America, Mr. Dean Rust, said that the historical position is a plebiscite in Kashmir. On the, on the one hand, you have the whole world arrayed on the, on, on the cause of right and justice and morality. On the other hand, you have a war machine, an arrogant and a chauvinistic, chauvinistic state, breaking its pledges, breaking its promises, and wanting to destroy the will and the spirit of our people. The will and the spirit of our people can never be destroyed, Mr. President. Let me tell you, sir, you can have one ceasefire, you can have another ceasefire, but the hundred million people of Pakistan shall face extermination rather than to allow to forsake their principles to be negated and destroyed by sheer force and power. So, in response to the call of international peace and international goodwill, we have ordered our troops, provided India agrees, to a cessation of hostilities. But sir, a cessation of hostility will not enough. You must now address yourself as the Security Council, as the most important organ of the United Nations, to the heart of the problem. For 18 years you have played and toyed with the, with, with, with the future of Kashmir. You cannot any longer play and toy and make a plaything out of 5 million people. It is your moral responsibility, that of the Security Council, to address itself to a meaningful and a lasting solution of the problem of Jammu and Kashmir. The Security Council has been seized of this problem for 18 years. We have more documentation, more resolutions on Jammu and Kashmir. The most fundamental problem that faces the world today than any other problem. Is that not ironical? That a conflict which may lead to, to world conflagration. And the present situation has shown that it is possible for this conflict to lead to world conflagration. With that, the Security Council has shown its lethargy. It has shown its in, indolence. We have decided that on the one hand, we give the United Nations a last opportunity to determine what it can do for a purposeful and, uh, and, and a peaceful settlement, a lasting settlement of the problem of Jammu and Kashmir, and we give it a time limit. We will, within a certain period of time, if the Security Council is not able to determine and decide on the future, on the responsibilities which are placed on it, on, 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 on its honor under the Charter, which believes in self-determination, then Pakistan will have to withdraw from the United Nations. And I am not giving this in the form of an ultimatum. I am saying this as I am honor bound to respect the very purposes of the Charter. Pakistan in leaving the United Nations will be fulfilling the Charter of the United Nations. And then, sir, you will have one third or more of the world outside your organ and you will have some states which call themselves states as members of the Security Council. I thank you.